Hey guys, all I want to say is I am so sorry for not uploading in a long time. I'ma try to do better though, I promise. And I should just remind y'all that I have a Discord server. A lot of you do not know this, but it's always in the description of my video. So if you want to chill with me and uh, meet me personally, join it. It's, it's really fun. Let's get to the video. So, as you know, Gorilla Tag is a really good game. But do you know actually how Gorilla Tag became so good? Well, it took a lot of things, but it came out successful. So I introduce to you how Gorilla Tag changed VR forever. So to tell you how Gorilla Tag made a big difference, we need to go back to when it first came out. February 12th, 2021. A game called Gorilla Tag was made. It did not look at all how like how it does now. Instead of monkeys we have now, we had robots. And obviously the game didn't instantly blow up. But good news, a couple more updates later, they replaced the robot with the iconic gorilla. That update gave Gorilla Tag one of the game's biggest things that it has today. Another really big thing that made Gorilla Tag what it is now. YouTubers. Argue as much as you want with me, but without YouTubers, Gorilla Tag probably wouldn't be as big as it is today. You might be wondering, who were the first few YouTubers to start playing Gorilla Tag? I'm not 100% sure, but according to what I could find, it was a YouTuber that goes by the name Jamin Curly and VMT. They made such a big impact on Gorilla Tag that I went to interview a lot of players and see if they got an Oculus because of a YouTuber. So, kind of epic. Uh, did you start YouTube because of a YouTuber? Uh, yeah. Okay. Who was it? I mean, <laughs> YouTube, I mainly started because of, like, uh, I never really had an inspiration to start YouTube, but for Gorilla Tag, making Gorilla Tag videos was definitely, like, J-Man. So, what was the video you watched, or do you even remember the video you watched that where that made you kind of think, oh, that game looks cool? It was this one YouTuber called Quagmire Toilet Gaming. Um, mm -hmm. He makes like meme videos, mm -hmm. and one of them was Gorilla Tag. So I was like, "What's Gorilla Tag?" You know, I searched it up, and I found um, J Man. I started watching his video. Okay, that's all yeah. I needed. Thanks for your help. Subscribe to me. So MDG, uh, did you start Gorilla Tag or YouTube uh, because of a YouTuber? Yes, I actually did. I didn't start YouTube because of a YouTuber, but I start. Well, actually, technically, I did, but not a Gorilla Tag YouTuber, and I. I started Gorilla Tag because of K9. Do you remember what video in specific it was that you were like, oh, that game looks really cool? I, I just saw, uh, um, like K9's short or whatever. It was, it was like the weird one where it's like, I forgot what the song was. It, I think it was his like second short or something like that. As you can see, the YouTubers are what make a big impact on this game. Another big thing that makes Gorilla Tag stand out from all the other games is the moving physics. Unlike any other, Gorilla Tag was the first game that had player move not by the joystick. Instead, as you know, you had to move your arm. Ow! Although, the game looks like you're playing from a PS2 you brought from Timu, the moving physics adds so much immersion, and the immersion is such a problem that people dislocate their fingers while playing. But seriously, the game has immersion unlike any other game I've played. Something that's completely funny though is all the Gorilla Tag knockoffs. It is just so funny to me that there are hundreds of knockoffs out there. Keep in mind though, that just because there are knockoffs, it does not mean that they are bad. For instance, Capuchin, Penguin Paradise, and obviously Gorilla Tag uh, is not the only game with knockoffs. For instance, the monstrosity called Meta Horizons is Rec Room's knockoff. But there is no other game with the incredible amount of knockoffs as Gorilla Tag's knockoffs. One last thing, the mods. Name another game that has ghosts going around scaring little kids. <laughs> the ghosts are one of the faces of Gorilla Tag. Just try to imagine Gorilla Tag without the creepy pasta. 
and nothing can match that same feeling you get when you find a legit ghost banning and kicking people. An another thing with mods is the trolling. Now, this isn't as original because every multiplayer has its fair share of trolling videos, but unlike others, this game is full of underage kids. So, more gullible people, the funnier trolling content is. All in all, the mods are really great, but mods would not be possible without this next thing. You may be wondering, what is more iconic than the mods? Well, the answer is the stereotypes. Hear me out, every game has its stereotypes, but Gorilla Tags is just game changing. The wide range of stereotypes is insane. In fact, I don't know I don't even know all of them. But the most known and the most common to find is the sweat. The toxic player. Fortnite bar! Fortnite bar oh. And the infamous mini games kid. Do you wanna play mini games? There are dozens more out there for you to discover. Although so far, this has been pretty positive. The game still has its problems. So, this is when we get into all the drama. The drama is what's killing the game, actually. What is some drama? There are two typical types of drama. Number one, the updates. And number two, the YouTuber drama. Let's, let's start off with number one. Sometimes, Lemming, the creator of GTAG, has extremely controversial updates. For instance, the last one I can think of was the drama with the flashback sale. Yeah. Uh, basically, all the OG players were extremely mad at Lemming for adding back the OG items, because they had no way to show that they were OG anymore. And the YouTuber drama. This one's juicy. So typically, this is when people try to cancel a YouTuber. For instance, the most recent recent time a major YouTuber drama happened was with a YouTuber that goes by the name Pursuit VR. Basically, it was proven that he said the N word in a lobby, and rumored that he's an old YouTuber that has been canceled multiple times in the past. That goes by the name Mercy VR or Ruthless VR. But that is just the tip of the iceberg of all the drama. All of these things together makes a special thing: Gorilla Tag. And that is, was the sum of how Gorilla Tag changed VR forever. If I missed anything, please tell me in the comments what you think I should have added. Thanks so much for watching, and remember to join the Discord server. My goal is to get to 300 members by the end of August. If we can do that, I will do a 10,000 Shiny Rock giveaway on that server. But once again, thanks for watching. See ya!